As there is no Test Match World Cup, the 10 Test Playing Nations are ranked on the MRF Tyres ICC Team Rankings table. Long have there been discussions over who is the best Test Team in the world. The ICC launched the modern version of the rankings in 2003 as a way of accurately gauging the world's best side. The rankings are based on a sliding scale, with each team having a rating based on the results of their matches over the last three to four years. The oldest two years of matches are weighted 50%, with the more recent matches given a weighting of 100%. The rankings table is updated at the end of every test series played, while once a year the oldest matches drop out of the rankings. The points earned by a team in a series will depend on three factors. Who won the series? The number of individual tests won, drawn and lost during the series. The difference between the team's rating and the opponent's rating when the series began. The higher the rating of an opponent, the more points a team earns for beating them. Similarly, the lower the opponent's rating, the more a team is penalised for losing to them. Winning a match earns you 50 points more than your opponent's rating. Losing a match earns you 50 points less than your opponent's rating, whilst a draw will earn you points equal to your opponent's rating. The total number of points earned, divided by the total number of matches and series a team has played in the rankings period, gives the side its overall rating. The team with the highest rating is then ranked as number one in the world and hold the ICC Test Championship mace. ODI and T20I rankings work much in the same way as test rankings, except that with limited overs cricket, the rankings table is updated at the end of every match, and while points are awarded for winning a match, there are no additional points awarded for winning a series. There are 12 teams in the MRF Tyres ODI table and 17 teams in the T20I table. The MRF Tyres ICC Women's Team rankings follow the same principles as the Men's Limited Overs rankings. However, there is just one set of rankings as they combine performances in all three formats of the sport – test matches, ODIs and T20Is. Combining results in this way ensures that each team's ranking is based on a credible total number of matches.